Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my first opinion video. My name is Lost Prophet, and today I've got a lot I want to talk about. First of all, this being the first opinion video, I'd just like to say this up front. These things are a lot easier to make than my regular content. I don't have to record anything new, I'm just going to edit together clips from my previous gameplay and talk over them. That is so much simpler. Alright, on to what I want to talk about today. First up, surviving bars. In a recent live stream, the gang over at Paradox Interactive and Hamamont Games gave an update as to the future of surviving Mars itself and what content is coming. In that live stream, we learned about the Spirit Patch, which has already been released. In the Spirit Patch, a lot of technical updates have been made, a lot of bug fixes, and most importantly of all, the modding system is being improved, allowing for more complex mods to be created by users. That's a big deal. But the big thing that they said is the Opportunity Update is coming, which includes the Passages DLC. That's coming on April 25th, so Surviving Mars fans, mark your calendars for that day we will be able to connect our domes with passages. And now, for the reason why my live streaming schedule and upload schedules have been so screwed up lately, and that's Oxygen Not Included. I've been watching Biffa2001 play this game a lot, and I got addicted to it myself. So yes, it's a new series here on the channel, and guess what? There's a brand new update coming soon, which they have a preview out for. I'm not going to play the preview version, but when the update comes out, we will be continuing the colony we have now. While the update it doesn't make any major changes requiring a new colony, it is still something that can't be rolled back, so that's something I'm going to wait for the official release for. Up next is Minecraft. Thanks to my newfound addiction to oxygen not included, I've kind of been neglecting my meat and potatoes game. Of course, this is not a good thing seeing as how Minecraft got me started making gaming videos in the first place, but don't worry, I will be continuing the Snapshot series this week. We have new snapshots to play with, coral blocks have changed, and plenty of other surprises are in store in the near future, so we are going to keep going with the Minecraft Snapshot series, don't worry. As for Minecraft Monday live streams, they will return next week. Uh, again, this week, I got caught up in oxygen not included. That is a thing that happens. And finally, just in case you're wondering, yes, the universe sim will continue. I have a lot that I want to do yet and a lot of new stuff that I need to explore in the Huff and Puff patch, so don't worry, the universe sim series 2 will be marching on. And now, for a little segment I like to call Q&A, questions nobody asks. Today's question nobody asked is, Lost Prophet, why don't you do a face cam when you live stream? The answer to that is, well, I would, but the webcam I've had for several years has finally crapped out on me. When I tried to plug it in a few weeks ago to do a live stream, it didn't even light up. So I'm gonna have to get a new one at some point, and if you'd like to help with that, hey, I've got donation links down below. So that's it for today's opinion video. I've tried to keep it short and sweet. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And as always, if you want more content, please hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. In the meantime, stay safe, play hard, and I will see you in my next video.